So in this video, I wanted to show you how to load your finished images into the project template for submission. So open up your project template, which is this. And essentially, we're going to make it look like this once you're finished, where you've loaded all of the images. And notice what it is you're looking for. What I did is I basically screened back all the images themselves, just to give you an indication of where they go. And I've given you reminders of what it is that you're supposed to have done. You know, spot retouch that little piece of paper down here, a few of those other spots, just to remind you to make sure you did all these things as listed in the video. Of course, there were a couple other things in each of the videos, but these are the broad things. So what happens with the image placement? Notice the red border is totally gone. If you've placed your images appropriately, professionally, I should not see any red when grading. Notice the other thing, students should type their name here. So here's the student name. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of this. So I'm just gonna to go to my student template, the same thing you can download from the course. I'm gonna to go to bridge. And the first image is the guy. So I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna show you a quick way. I'm gonna resize my bridge dialog box just by grabbing the outside corner of it and dragging it down. I can make my thumbnails a little smaller so I can see them kind of all at once. So essentially, I'm just going to grab this guy, drag him right over, and let go. It's going to automatically give me a bounding box. I'll click it and just drag it up. Again, if you can't see your corners of the bounding box, just hit Command or Control Zero, and you'll be able to. So I need to get this to fit exact. So I need to use my zoom tool. I can either click on it here or hold down the Command or Control key while using the space bar and just click in, let go of the Command or Control key. My cursor turns into a hand tool so I can click and drag because I want to see this exact corner. And you're not gonna be able to get this with a mouse. So get it close, but do you see that, that edge right there? Use your left and right up and down arrow keys. Okay, no red there see some at the top. So I'll tap my up arrow key. I have it top and left justified. So I'll come and grab this opposite corner and pull up until I see the red disappear and it align. I'll hit enter. I'll have the space bar just to pan around it. Some significant red on one of the edges or Let's say you resized it kind of like this and I see all the red or a big chunk of the red. That's going to hurt your grade. So make sure I don't see the red. So let's go grab this one. Bridge, find it. There it is. I'm just going to drag it over. Resize it. Click enter. Can I see a teeny bit of red? Can I toggle over one pixel? I see a little bit over here. It's all command or control T and just make that a tiny bit bigger. Click enter. That looks right. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut. What are the next two? The hue and the cat eyes. So this one and this one. I'm going to hold down my command or control key and bring them both over at the same time by selecting them both, dragging them over, and we hit enter and enter. Because here's the interesting thing. These are all four the same exact size. So I'm just going to choose them both. Hit command or control T to activate free transform. I can't really see my bounding box, so I'll hit command or control zero. So I can now see it. I can shrink them both at the same time, which I could have done for all four, just to get me to speed up a little bit something like that. Just select the frog layer, pull the frog layer over, use my arrow key to get it nudged up to where I don't see the red. Click on this cat layer over here, drag the cat over, arrow key until I don't see any of the red. You see how that works? All right, let's finish it up. I need these two, which are the same size. So I'll hold down the shift key and just select one to two or command or control, whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna select both, drag them over, hit enter, hit enter, select them both in the layers, command or control T, resize them quickly, both at the same time, kind of line up this first part. See, it's wanting to jump around. So I'm gonna zoom in. Remember command and space bar, or again, come over here and use the zoom tool. All right, so I'm gonna slide that over. And now I hit the command minus just to zoom back out a little bit so I can resize to this side. You've always got to justify to the left and the top first. Seems to be my workflow. Hit enter. Looks like I didn't make it big enough. See, I, I still see red on the bottom and the right side. So I hit command or control T again. Hit enter. Okay, I think I got it that time. Which one is which? Okay, this is the light dress. So I want to make sure I'm placing these where they're supposed to go. So I'll make sure I've selected the light dress one, which is here and just drag it over. If I hold down the shift key to kind of keep it straight up or down. All right, I'll use my scroll bar to scroll up, space bar to put them in over. Okay, tennis lessons and this guy. Actually, these are both squares. So let's see if I can bring those both over at the same time. This one and this one. Oh, these actually may not be the same size. Enter, enter. I'm gonna select them both. Command T, cannot see my corners at all because these are giant files because I forgot to resize these. So I'll make Command or Control Zero to fit in screen. Yeah, those are big. They're bigger than my whole template. 
But let's get them started. Can't quite get it to match up there. See if I can just do it with my arrows. You need to be on the move tool for the arrows to work. I'll hit Command or Control T. I need to get it to the right and the bottom now. Okay, I think that worked. Then I'll choose this one right here. And even though I can't see it, since I don't have auto select selected, if I have auto select selected, if I have auto select selected, it's going to jump to the layer of whatever I click on. But if I uncheck that, which I would need to do here because it's going to always see the tennis lessons first because it's on top of. These two images are stacked in the same spot. So here I'd have to uncheck auto select, select that beach gate, and come and drag it out from underneath. And I'll use my right and left arrow keys. Okay, that, that's, that's looking good. Now we know how to add a text, but I need to get rid of this, right? Students should type their name here. Again, zoom in, whatever technique you like. I haven't covered this, but I need to get rid of this which is located on that template, which is our background layer. So I need to select that background layer. I'm gonna come over and select the marquee tool. I want the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just gonna make a selection right around there, making sure I'm on that background layer. A lot of ways to do this. I would probably just go up to edit, down to fill, choose my contents, make it white, click okay, and it's gone. Select, deselect, that's gone. Now I grab the type tool, which is the horizontal type tool. Click it, draw my little thing, John Doe, instead of Jane Smith this time. It's gonna to totally depend on your name, right? Based on the scale of this template, I'm using Myriad Pro Bold Condensed 38. And you can find those by just scrolling through here and finding Myriad Pro if yours isn't chosen. So Myriad Pro, choose Bold Condensed. Now here's what I'm talking about. This is a short name, so I can make this name bigger just by dragging it up a little. That still looks professional, right? If I'm like overlapping this or overlapping this image or it's hiding behind the image, well, that's not super professional. So make sure you choose a font, a size that works. So obviously this would be too small. It's not centered left or right or up and down. And it's just visually, it's visually too small. So double click it and you don't want it so big that it looks ridiculous either. This is part of a sub subjective thing, which a lot of art has. Command or control zero. Now let me show you a pro tip, because remember your, your grade's gonna be deducted if we see the red edge. And see, I see a red edge right here. Do you see that red edge? Choose auto select, let me select it, command T it. Maybe I can just drag it up a little bit. Scroll over with my scroll bar, drag this up a little bit. If it's left or right, I don't know. It's not fitting super up and down. I'm just gonna lock it in. So here's my pro tip. Once you get it reasonably good, like the lines look straight, but you still see a faint edge of that red around there. If that becomes a problem, well, let's be smarter than the template. What did we just do to get rid of that name? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the background layer. I'm gonna add a blank layer, grab that rectangular marquee tool again, and I'm gonna select just outside of those images, not messing up any of the text, right? I'm gonna go up to edit, fill, white. Select, deselect. So I just created a white layer. Which way I'm gonna turn it on and off? Do you see I see red here along this one? I see red around here. So essentially, those are there just to give you some guide marks, just to kind of get used to free transforming and trying to professionally place and line up everything so that it looks nice. But this is the final step to kind of guarantee that we don't see any red when grading. Now, remember, save this PSD, file, save as, you know how to do that now, so that you can go back and change something in case you notice you messed up something or loaded something in the wrong order later. But to upload this for grading, you're going to need to save it as a, as a flattened JPEG. And if you choose JPEG, it will automatically save it as a copy, flattening it automatically with that sRGB profile. So make sure you do that. Good luck, can't wait to see what you did. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>